Hey, Sarah from Most Motion here. Today I'm going to show you how conventional wisdom is failing uh, sports and fitness lovers when it comes to treatment of shin splints. So I'm going to use my friend Bob here. He's going to demonstrate to you what happens when your body changes position. So we've got a straight leg here. So the knee is facing forwards, the toe is facing forwards, and on this side we have the internally rotated thigh bone. So the knee joint here is facing inwards and the body as a compensation has rotated the lower leg outwards, okay? That is dropping the arch of the foot towards the floor. So you can see here that this leg is not in a comfortable position. Now, shin splints happens when uh, your body is trying to pull your toes towards your nose. So your shins work, they function when they're sh uh, your toe is coming towards your nose. I want to show you why this body position here is really important in the treatment and uh, creation of shin splints. And I'm going to do that by turning Bob round. Okay, so let me just stand him up a little bit so we can see. All right, so we've got dots here on his body. Uh, there we go. We've got dots here on his body to sh show you uh, what is happening to the hamstrings and the calves in particular. So you remember that one leg was straight and the other leg was rotated inwards. So the straight leg is on this side and you can see here the dots. So this is the hamstring attachments and the calf attachments right down onto the Achilles. They're pretty much in a straight line and that's comfortable because that means that your um, foot has got room to stretch the calf and the hamstring as it pulls your toes up towards your nose. So your shins aren't under a great deal of tension. But when you have an internally rotated leg bone, okay, so your thigh bone is rotated in and your lower leg is rotated out so you don't walk with your feet pointing at each other, then the hamstring is on a stretch, which you can see here, and your calf is also on a stretch, which you can see here. Now, in this situation, it's really difficult for your body uh, to pull your toes up towards your nose. So what happens is the shin has to work an awful lot harder to make that happen. It's fighting the length in the calf. It's fighting the length in the hamstring. So um, then your shin gets tired and it starts to feel sore because it's this muscle here that's trying to do all the work. OK, but if we just ice and rest and um, change our terrain and all those sorts of things, we're never actually dealing with the problem, which is actually this internal rotation of this thigh bone and the external rotation of the lower leg. So this can also happen. The calf can also be on a stretch if your hips are uh, tilted forwards. So even if you're bending forwards like this, then you have a stretch on the hamstring and on the calf from a top to bottom position. So if you want to get started quickly by dealing with these problems and getting rid of the cause of the issue rather than just dealing with the symptoms and then we're having to wait until they come back again, then you can just click the link in the description and get my free Hip Flexors Five Ways video that will help to unravel the tightness in this area here, which will also help to straighten out your leg bone again. Okay, so make sure you click the link in the description. And if you've got any comments, questions, anything like that, uh, just pop them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.